Hello everybody, this is Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage and we're back with another of our 5 Minute Histories videos and today I'm on the 500 block of South Broadway and behind me is the Polish Home Club. It was started here in 1918 when this part of Fells Point was known as Little Poland. That's what we're going to talk about today. It was part of a national movement of uh, Polish Home Clubs or Polish Home Halls. But before we get to that, let me just say a word about Polish immigration into America and into the Baltimore specifically. Maybe the uh, most famous early Polish immigrant was a gentleman named Casimir Pulaski. He came to America to help us fight against the British in the Revolutionary War. He started the U.S. Cavalry. He's known as the father of the U.S. Cavalry. Um, incidentally, pulling uh, many of his early cavalry people from Baltimore's own local cavalry units. Um, we did a video on the monument to him in Patterson Park. You can check that out. Our immigration of uh, Polish folks in Baltimore started really in the latter part of the 1800s and the early 1900s. Um, folks would come in, get through U.S. Customs and Immigration at Locust Point, coming here largely for the jobs on the docks or in the canneries. Those were two huge job magnets that uh, pulled folks in. To give some sense, by the early 1900s, our Polish community was quite large. We had a number of churches, Polish churches, St. Stanislaus, Our Lady of Rosary, um, and a church called Holy Cross, which back then had the wonderful name of Holy Mother of Unceasing Help. We also had a Polish language newspaper and a number of uh, organizations that were like savings and loans that pooled money to help new arrivals get on their feet or maybe even buy a, uh, buy a house. In 1923, we got our first uh, elected official, the Polish elected official, in the form of city council member Edward Novak. And a few years before that, in 1918, the Polish community uh, got together uh, with 600 members in its first year in 1918 and formed Polish Home Club, uh, which back then was called Polish Home Hall. It was part of a national movement. There were uh, Polish home clubs or halls in New York and in Cleveland, in Buffalo and Toledo. Even Omaha, Nebraska had a, a Polish home club. They were called Dom Polskis, uh, uh, the home part, meaning they were home-like and really home-like hearkening back uh, to traditional Polish uh, culture. That's what they were set up to do with things like dances and music. Uh, they would uh, help people relate to their homeland um, and especially through food, like a pierogies and gol golopki, that uh, stuffed cabbage dish, which is really good. And of course, uh, through uh, uh, drinks. Uh, the one that I know of is uh, called Krupnik, and if my taste buds remember correctly, it's kind of like a honey uh, vodka tasting uh, drink, really good. And here at the Polish Home Club, uh, for years and years, and today, hosts a number of events. One event I want to talk about was an annual dance for bean pickers at the end of the bean picker season. And if you haven't heard of Polish bean pickers, let me take a little bit of an aside, talk about that. In the early 1900s, as Baltimore's Polish community was growing, a number of families, hundreds of families, uh, would leave their East Baltimore homes for the summer um, and spend them picking beans in farms in Baltimore County and Arundel County, their surrounding counties. There were a lot of bean farms and there were a lot of Polish bean pickers. They would set up uh, camps, uh, living in pretty crude shacks, cooking on stoves made of brick or clay out in the open. Um, and they would pick beans all day long, really from sun up until six or seven uh, o'clock at night. They would work six days a week, taking only Sundays off and everybody picked beans. The men picked beans, the women picked beans, the children picked beans, um, uh, pretty long days. To give a sense of what one day might look like, there was one county in, uh, one farm in Baltimore County called Hyde's Farm uh, that employed uh, 150 Polish bean pickers, so quite a large uh, a camp there. It was actually called Little Poland during the summertime and they paid 50 cents for every 100 pound of beans that you picked. Uh, according to a 1933 report, uh, one girl picked 700 pounds of beans in a day, earning her $3.50. That seems like a lot of work for $3.50, uh, but that was the deal back then. Um, at the end of the bean picking season, the families would decamp and move back to East Baltimore, and the Polish Home Club would throw a dance uh, for them each year. Um, and from the reports, it sounds like it was a pretty good time. They would dance polkas, they would eat uh, traditional uh, Polish food. Uh, the one year they had string bean soup made with uh, pork broth and pickle juice. I think that sounds good, but I'm still uh, uh, deciding on that. 
and then sandwiches of uh, onion and bologna on rye, may, maybe hearkening back uh, to what they might eat uh, picking beans in the field over the summertime. And of course they would tell stories, stories of how hard the work was, but also stories of uh, remembering when they would uh, take a break and cool off in a swimming hole in a, a Baltimore uh, County stream, um, and often stories of love where one bean picker might fall in love with a young man or woman picking beans next to him, sometimes leading to a marriage proposal and sometimes uh, leading to a marriage. I'm going to wrap up by saying the Polish Home Club is still very active. The lounge is open on uh, Fridays and Saturdays. You can go and socialize, maybe have a glass of Krupnik. Um, they host live music events all the time and not just polka. There's blues and jazz. They often host a local group uh, called the Fells Point Hoot Nanny All Stars, which sounds like a lot of fun. And I'm going to end by uh, just saying a word about one event that they organize each year, which is known as the East Baltimore Christmas. Um, it happens each year on December 23rd, still going strong. 700 folks, um, many, uh, maybe most, with some sort of ties to Poland, get together and then wander the streets of Fells Point singing Christmas carols. It picks up on an age-old, ages-old tradition in Poland of visiting, going from village to village and farm to farm on the night before Christmas Eve uh, to visit with family and friends. So next December 23rd, come on out, maybe join the carolers in East Baltimore Christmas, uh, but don't wait until then uh, to check out the Polish Home Club. If you're interested, we'll put a link uh, to their website and calendar of events uh, after this video. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.